Every time we played a, a game, a high-level game, we struggle. We struggle against Chelsea because we do 92 minutes. But Chelsea dominated the game. I want to be honest. And uh, with Arsenal, we lost. And today, I guess United, uh, we lost. And uh, uh, for sure, when the level is high, we are going to struggle. We are going to struggle. Right. I mean, Conte really not holding holding back on his players. Why do you think they're struggling, in particular, in big games? I think because they're, they're allowing the opposition so much of the ball. And I think in, in this league, especially, if you give the best teams as much of the ball as Tottenham are giving them, then ultimately they're going to punish you. They've got too much quality, most of the squads, in the, in, in the top half of the league. So... It's incredible, really, the way he plays. It's obviously been successful throughout his career, and so far it's been a, a good start mm. for Tottenham without playing very well. But they're 18th in terms of possession, one in the final third. Only Bournemouth and Nottingham Forest, who are sort of what we would class as possible relegation teams, are worse. So he's, he's sitting so deep, which means it's so much harder. And I know Harry Kane and Son are, are fantastic on the counter-attack, but teams know that and teams are going to mm. set up so that in transition they're ready for when that happens. Mm. And it's just such a long way to then go when you do win the ball back to, to then be a threat. And um, I think he probably will be looking at that game and thinking, right, well, I, I need to look at a certain way to try and certainly get us higher up the pitch because th at the moment, the way they're playing, mm. of course, they'll, they'll get results, they'll grind out results, but not in terms of the long term making sure you're in the top four. Yeah, what, what does he then focus on? Because we know he, he's got a reputation as a winner. He wants to keep his reputation intact. He's very driven about what he wants to do. But how does he try and change that? And they're going to have to do it quite quickly. I think he seems like the type of character that's probably not going to listen to me or <laughs> anyone else. I think he's got his ideas. But if you're listening, here it goes. <laughs> exactly. But I think he's got his own ideas. It's yeah. just I look at that attacking threat that they clearly have and... The full backs, sorry, the wing backs that they've got, again, have got great attacking abilities, but seemed at times very deep. So I don't think he's holding them back as such, but mm -hmm. you've got to find a way to get the best out of your attacking players. And, and if you're so deep, then ultimately that's not going to be the case. It's going to be very difficult for them. So it's about trying to get the team higher up the pitch, whether that's you know taking more of a risk in terms of having that space in behind. Again, that's... That's up to these top coaches to figure out. And, and he is a top coach, mm. so it wouldn't surprise me if he, if he is able to, to figure a way out. Yeah, higher up the pitch and definitely higher up the table is where he'd... he'd it's not been a bad start, though. It's just, it it's just some and of the performances. You look at the performances and they've just not been convincing. Even the yes. ones that they've won, they've not been as convincing as, as mm. I'm sure a lot of Tottenham fans would want. They are still above United, of course, in yeah. the table, but says that there is a big gap between them and United, despite their, their standings. What, what, what do you make of, of, of those sort of comments? He's made quite a few of those, mm. those comments, and I'd like to think he genuinely just believes that, but I see it more as, as a nice excuse then if things don't quite go your way or if you don't really challenge uh, where maybe the club sees the, the team challenging. But I certainly wouldn't be writing them off or saying they're out of it mm. by any stretch, because I think he's such a... A good manager got such a good record over the years that mm. that come the end of the season they will be they will be there uh, I think for the top four running.